Hey, 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 Tony Bada Bing. What's racing nation? How you doing? Hey, happy new year. Hope all is well. Maybe you already cashed a big ticket in 2018. I hope you have. Me, not so much. Oh, oh, the hat. Yeah, sorry. Well, you know, Patriots Nation. Yeah, sorry. You know, funny accent, Boston area. Yeah, I guarantee they'll win on Saturday. Maybe not. I won't. Maybe I won't hit the pick six, but yeah, the Pats are winning. Anyway, that's not why you're here. Let's talk Rainbow Pick Six at Gulfstream Park. Obviously, I can't give you a ticket because that's defeating the single pair format, you know? So I'm not going to give you a ticket. I'm going to give you two long shots and a single that might be worth uh, trying. So let's uh, just jump right into it. I'm going to start off with the race number eight, the second leg of the Pick Six. $16,000 claimers, non winners of three, lifetime seven and a half furlongs on the turf. Try that three times fast. Woo! I'm going number five, Indian Scout. All those four-year-old gelding has made five of his 11 starts on the turf, meaning more than half on the dirt. All those were off the turf variety. The, the connections have meant him for the grass all the time. He fits in and around these conditions. He's tossing the blinkers after one try with them. And I believe he's going to sit a perfect stocking trip right off the likely pace setter. He's got a good inside post. Starting a race on a turn, really not a Good idea, and not a good idea to have an outside post on that. So going the seven and a half furlongs, I like him at 15 to 1 in morning line odds. Race number 10, $6,250 claims. Don't forget that 50 bucks, six furlongs. Number 13, Vinardini. I don't like to trust a single horse running at the lowest claiming rung, but this Larry Rivelli trainee is a four time winner at Hawthorne, where he has raced at claiming levels two and three times this amount. Uh, look, he's from the th he's coming out of the 13 hole here. He is your likely pace setter, though. He's running sub-22 fractions going six furlongs. He's definitely going to lead to start, quite possibly be there at the finish. Five to one. Nice single, not a favorite. And you don't want to stay away from the favorites in the jackpot pick six. And longer odds are better for sure. I'm not quite as good as my Twitter friend Joe T on the side who singled a nine-to-one shot last week, cashing a $39,000 pick six ticket. This dude even 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 single the 32 to one shot once. Someday I hope to be as good as you, Joe. Jumping to the last leg, race 12, allowance optional claimer, $75,000, mile 16th on the turf for three-year-olds. Number two, Sand Dancer. I like training Timothy Hills. I don't know why, I just do. Here and there he cashes uh, on the grass at long odds, and I think he's going to have a good shot here. He keeps leading uh, Gulfstream Park right at Luis Saez for a second start off a layoff. This gelded son of Eskendrea will run similar kind of race as the favorite coming from off the pace. And if this horse sits a better trip, you're getting six, at least six, seven times the odds. So there it is. A couple of long shots, an interesting single. Good luck with your rainbow pick six wager.